all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween, Halloween costumes, cosplay, and just being creative as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. Today we are recreating the very iconic Morton's Salt Girl. This is an easy costume that everybody will love. Everybody's going to know who you are and it will be comfortable too. So it'd be a comfortable costume to wear. Let's get started. We bought a yellow dress. We've got blue ribbon. We've got blue buttons, blue paint, acrylic paint. I bought these shoes. A simple Mary Jane shoe and I have that felt because I'm gonna make the wig out of the felt. Because she's a cartoon character I feel like it would be more cartoony to make the wig with felt. We've got white opaque pantyhose and a Quaker Oats canister and that's what we're gonna need to recreate the Morton Salt Girl. Let's get started. This is our completed Morton Salt Girl costume. Now, I did try to make a wig with the felt. It didn't really work out quite the way I wanted it to, but that's an idea. You could do it out of felt. Mine just turned out a little too short and it was so kind of flat. She has more full hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this blonde bob wig that I already had. The shoes, of course, and the completed dress. And we have a white umbrella that I actually it's more white than it appears to be in the photograph. So it's white on the outside and I painted the inside of it lavender, like the Morton Salt Girl. Of course, we have our white tights we're gonna be wearing. Let's go ahead and get started with our makeup. Time for makeup. As you can see, I've got my dress on. The reason for that is because I wanna see <clears throat> the neckline. I'm going to actually be portraying her just as the way she's shown on the packaging of the Morton Salt in which she is actually white and all of her features are a navy blue. So the whole girl is white. So I'm going to be using this Meron Paradise Aqua Makeup, which is a water activated uh, makeup from Meron. And I'm gonna be using that for to paint my body, not my whole body, obviously, my face and hands. And then I've got a just a blue pencil. I'm gonna go over my eyebrows, I'm gonna do my eyes, probably around my eyes, and my lips and everything like that with blue. All of my features. Let's go ahead and get started with that. I have missed a couple of weeks because just, I, was, I went on a vacation last week uh, to Branson, Missouri, so I missed an episode there because I was literally gone for all the time that I would be usually working on a costume and recording this. And then the week before that, I did the Monster High doll. If you didn't check it out and you like Monster High, check it out. And then the week before that, I had had so much stuff going on with my new job and just a loss in the, in the family and, you know, just all kinds of stuff. So I'm trying to get back on track here and 
and I don't think I'll be missing any more days. That being said, I'm just getting my white activated here and I'm gonna start whiting my face. So the reason why I wanted to do it this way, I don't really see it done. I mean, I've seen the Morton Salt Girl done. Not personally, but I know people have done it. I've gone online and I've seen that people have done it. They normally just do like regular flesh tone for her, which is fine too. You can do what, however you want, obviously. But I see things the way I see them. And because she's white, I wanted to do it. What's great about this costume is it's comfortable. So, I mean, it's long sleeve, so if you're, you might get hot if you live in Florida, like myself, but it's comfortable to wear, and most costumes are hot anyway. You're wearing layers of stuff usually for a costume, or long dresses, or, you know, but it's super comfortable. And it's iconic, you know? If you go as the Morton Salt Girl, everybody's gonna know what you're, what you're trying to portray. Very little effort involved in having to tell people who you are and stuff. I was reading a bit of the history of the Morton Salt Girl and how it came to be. And I know you've heard the slogan, when it rains, it pours. I didn't know this until I did this costume, but that was actually a Morton Salt ad. And they came up with that slogan back in the day. When it rains, it pours. The reason for it was Back in the late 1800s, ladies of the house had a real problem with their salt sticking together when it would rain outside. It would get real humid and it was kind of a pain in the butt. So anytime they would need to use the salt after a rain, you know, back then there was no AC and stuff. So they would have to chisel the salt to use it and it was just a real pain. And the Morton's company knew this and in 1911, came up with a way that the salt wouldn't stick. And it was by adding magnesium carbonate to their salt products. And it worked. The salt didn't stick. So the slogan, when it rains, it pours, is directly related to the rain and the humidity caused by the rain that caused the salt to stick. So when they invented this way that it wouldn't stick anymore with the magnesium carbonate, they incorporated that into their new ad campaign, which was the Morton Salt Girl. So that's pretty cool. And they also patented the little metal spout at the top of the salt can, or the salt canister. They patented that back then. So that they also invented that. So that's, that's kind of crazy. The history of food, pretty awesome. So I'm just whiting my face and I'm gonna finish doing that and my upper body here and then we'll get started with our blue accents. All right, I'm all white. Are you all white? <laughs> uh, so we're getting this blue pencil out and just start doing our features. It's gonna be an easy costume. It's such an easy costume. Even creating it, making it look like the dress that she's wearing, that was easy. Everything about it was easy. It's comfortable. It's not real expensive. You know, I think the shoes were the most expensive thing I bought and they're not even that great of quality. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why they were so expensive, but I did have to buy those and the dress online. It's just kind of a hard thing to find, you know, but if you can find a yellow dress, I did find one at a thrift store and it was perfect, but it was teeny tiny. And it said it was a size large, but I don't know in what <laughs> fantasy world it was a size large, cause there was, it was like a size zero. She's kind of got, got her eyes closed, looking down, puddle jumping. We're just gonna do the blue eyebrow. This is a good pencil. It's actually going on. This is a Maybelline Tattoo Studio. Pretty good. If you're going as a group, you can always do several brand logos. And I have three here on my channel if you're trying to get some ideas. <laughs> but there's so many of them that are so iconic. Aunt Jemima, I did Mrs. Butterworth, uh, the California Raisins, all the cereal logos. There's a bunch for cereal. Uncle Ben, the Quaker Oats guy. 
What's the name of the Quaker Oats guy? Does anybody know? Leave that in the comments if you actually know his name. That's the one I might do in the future. Yeah, I have uh, playlists on my channel, so there's a brand logo playlist. I only have three so far, but that should give you some ideas. They're fun to do because they're iconic and they're recognizable. So it takes the guesswork out of, you know, when you go somewhere, people don't have to wonder what you are. They know immediately. And I've seen brand logos win contests. I went <clears throat> and there was to one costume contest and I was actually Nebula and it was the first year I was Nebula and it was really good. Um, but I lost to Mrs. Butterworth. <laughs> so people love brand logos, they really do. And she was a heavier set black lady and she was just working the crowd. Like, so she had it in the bag, you know? When you go to costume contests, if I have any advice to give you on that, it's just to be, be the character. And she was, she was going around a vivacious black woman. She was really playing the part. So it was really cool. I didn't mind losing to her that night. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. She did a good job. She looked cute. She didn't have a cap on her head. She had like a pat of butter, which was a cute idea. Um, you're going to want to have your final seal, you know, and carry around a blue pencil in your purse or whatever, but have your final seal, um, on after you put your makeup on and that'll seal your makeup on. And that way, you know, it stays good for you all night. It stays pretty good anyway. Um, Ben Nye has great products, but just in case. And then I'm going to put some blue mascara on tonight. Everything's going to be blue. I did a little bit of a cat eye just to make it look like eyelash. And then I'm going to come around and go underneath. Her lips are just outlined. So kind of like that. I think I'm looking like her already. I'm going to do kind of a nose outline. Cool, huh? It's kind of a bummer the whole wig thing didn't work out. I think it could if I just had more time. But I just, I didn't have the time to make it work. So that's okay. The blonde bob wig will look cute. You can try and do a felt wig if you like. Um, I would recommend making a, sewing a cap, the shape of your head first out of the felt and then starting with the hair coming down. And I was gonna paint it and everything. It was gonna look cool, but I just, I didn't have time. I happen to have that blonde bob wig and that worked out great, so. I actually went to Party City today and, cause I have one pretty much right across the street and they had a yellow wig that was a bob wig. It was a longer bob, but I could have cut it, but it wasn't the right yellow. It was like neon yellow and I, I didn't want that. So, I didn't get it. There we go. I'm just going to use a little of this cream on my lip. You may want to carry a cream for your lips um, because your mouth is wet and everything. The aqua paint might come off, so you might want to have a white cream. Uh, like this one I'm using. This is a Ben Nye white cream makeup or a white cream pencil. Either one <laughs> will work. Just to touch up your lips. I'm going to do like a few more lines here. You'll notice I didn't go all the way to the corner with my bottom lip. I'm going to do my top lip kind of the same. It's kind of just outlined a little bit just so that you can see the features. Since Morton Salt first came out, the Morton Salt Girl has changed over time. This is the newest and latest model, but 
there are other options to choose from. One of them's wearing a really flowery dress. She looks like a little girl, like curly hair. So you can really probably do any rendition and still be recognized as the Morton Salt Girl. Because you're going to have your canister of salt with you and everything, the umbrella, the giveaways, you know? Now I'm just going to outline my face. Just put a line down with, you know, to kind of outline my face. Now I'm going to do my mascara, put on my wig and costume, and we'll take some photos. I've had this mascara for years and it's still working good. It's L'Oreal. Still works pretty good. Oh yeah, I gotta paint my hands too. So I'll be doing that off camera after I put my wig on. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's look. Again, this is an iconic look. Everyone's gonna recognize, everyone's gonna love, and you're gonna love it because it's so comfortable and so easy. I know it'll be a hit. That does it for today's episode. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. I'll see you next time.